Welcome to Villa Les Prés. Here we are in criel sur mer in North Normandy. Facing us we have the uh, 20th century, turn of the century house, which is um, a house that is built a little higher than the sea level because here we're really in a, a boggy area. We have lots of water, rivers, um, which are useful for the plants so that they grow quickly. But in the winter it can be a problem with flooding. That's why we have lots of drainage all around the property and those drainage are used also for the um, meaning and the situation and the uh, composition of the garden. So in the garden you will find lots of uh, plants that like this uh, water, um, especially willows. I'm a big fan of willows and I also like, uh, like perennial plants. We have lots of uh, apatorium uh, from the family and also um, nice hydrangeas, especially I'm fond of the aspera ones, which are the easiest uh, to grow, much easier than the uh, classic macrophylla hydrangeas that we can find. So um, there's a big um, thing here is that compared to other gardens, the difference is that we have a garden that is producive. We have an orchard with cider apple trees, around 40 different varieties growing here, um, and also a really nice vegetable garden, which I think is really important uh, nowadays because most of the vegetables you buy um, in, the, um, in the market are not really nice vegetables. Uh, it's really complicated to find a really uh, good looking and nice vegetable to eat. After the vegetable garden, you find out a really nice structure garden, uh, which I'm working on. Uh, there's still a lot of work, that's what I say to all visitors. Uh, but it's all already looking nice because it's a 15 years old garden. So uh, I say that gardens start to look nice after five years. Um, so this garden now I'm starting to uh, cut a few plants, get rid of them because I'm just getting um, um, not interested in those plants and they probably have too many diseases, don't look nice and, and are probably not placed at the right spot. So there's a really nice structure garden around the house that is little by little um, growing and as far as you go down the property after the orchard you find an um, area which is more natural, with more endemic plants, um, colonies of Heracleum for example, uh, Litrums, all these plants that like the water and uh, which are interesting because they uh, can live by their own and make me have less work instead of having a really well maintained garden for the uh, 15 acres that are here. I'm really attached to this, um, this thinking that we should really respect the nature when we start uh, growing a garden because gardening is not really natural. It's more important to um, try to have a symbiose with the nature, having a nice grass of course because people have to find themselves in your garden, not having something with tall um, grasses growing everywhere uh, or a jungle. A jungle can be interesting for certain people. I have a few parts in the garden which look jungle type but not all of the garden because if you have just one style or one type of garden then the people get just uh, rid of your garden and will not visit it again. Uh, what will bring visitors again and again in your garden is uh, by making it move, change all the time and I hope I will be healthy and in good shape for the next uh, 30 years to uh, develop this garden as much as possible because this is really my point uh, with my two little children in my life, which is uh, nature garden and the children.